What is going on everybody? Extimus here. So today we're going to be going over the 10 most underrated unique items in Diablo 2. Timestamps are in the description below if you want to skip to whatever underrated unique item you want to see. I love all of you guys so much and I hope you enjoy the video. So starting off here with the number one most underrated unique item in Diablo 2 is Azeroth. The reason why I think that this is so underrated is because I think a lot of players just don't understand what it actually does. The Sanctuary Aura actually takes away physical resistances completely from undead monsters. So if you're doing something like Chaos Sanctuary, there's a ton of undead monsters in that area. You're just going to be doing a ton of damage if you're a Frenzy Barbarian or something like a Zealer Paladin. And it's also a really cool weapon as far as the story goes. Iswal used to use this sword and he he would walk around heaven with Tyrio, but once he turned into a demon, I guess he doesn't have it anymore. But he's one of my favorite characters in the game, and it's a really cool looking sword as well. Another thing that's really nice is the enhanced damage is very high on this, and the magic damage, the 500 magic damage is really important. This allows you to kill monsters that are immune to physical damage. I also used this weapon on the Frenzy Barbarian on my recent video to do Uber Tristram. It's also a really overpowered and cheap item in the trading community. No longer do you have to wait in games to see if anyone wants your item or scroll through all of the endless games in Diablo 2 to see if you can make some good trades or just find what you're looking for. I'm super excited because Diablo Dex is sponsoring this video today. I really think that this is going to be the future of trading in Diablo 2. This is a free app that you can download and you can see all of the players that are online that have Diablo 2 items for sale and for trade in real time. There's no currency, there's no pay to win, it's just trading Diablo 2 items for Diablo 2 items. You can look for whatever item that you want to find. So we're just going to search for Azeroth and see what players that are online right now that have it. I searched up Azeroth and we can see that there's someone online right now that wants an Istrun for it. However, if you don't want to pay an Istrun for it or whatever item it is, you can actually go to their profile. You can see all the items that they're looking for, also all the other items that they have for trade. You can message them on the app or you can go to their profile and you can see their battle.net tag and you can message them on Battle.net. Diablo Dex is an amazing app and I highly recommend it and as I said, I really think that this is going to be the future of Diablo. Diablo 2 trading. If you want to download Diablo Dex, there's a link in the description below. So moving on with the list right here, the next one is Skin of the Flayed One. Now this is a really good armor for mercenaries. It has 7% life stolen per hit and it has a repair mod which is really good for your character if you don't want to use it on your mercenary. If you upgrade it, it can have up to 1,853 defense. Really no one ever picks up this item and I never see it for trade. You really don't need to go out of your way to try to get a fortitude. A lot of unique items that are like this that you can upgrade the defense is really high compared to other rune words now because blizzard removed the e-bug recipe i really recommend you guys start picking it up because it's absolutely amazing i really don't think you need to go and get a fortitude anymore you could use something like this and it's going to be just as good you're just going to be lacking some enhanced damage there i think that this is really good because that seven percent life stolen per hit combined with something with the reaper's toll will give your mercenary up to 39 percent life stolen per hit and i really don't like when my mercenary dies i really suggest that you guys start picking this item up because it's amazing the next item on the list is hot spur boots no one ever picks this item up either and you can probably get it for a few perfect gems i saw it on diablo dex earlier today for like five perfect gems and it's really good because if you're going up against diablo clone or uber diablo and uber tristram really amazing because it has 45 resistance on it and it has 15 percent to maximum fire resist no longer do you need to worry about diablo's crazy firewall that will kill you in like two seconds just put these boots on and you don't really need to worry about diablo the next item on the list is shaft stop now a lot of people actually use this item but i don't think it's used enough and a lot of people will also just sell this item for almost nothing absolutely amazing if you're lucky if you upgrade it you can get up to 2422 defense 60 to life it's lacking resistances so i put an umrin in there and it has damage reduced by 30 percent it's just so overpowered and i just can't believe that people just give this stuff away. 
The next item on the list is lightsaber, probably one of the most overpowered unique weapons in the game and it's another weapon that people just throw away. Up to 40% increased attack speed with a shale rune in there, up to 200% enhanced damage, ignores target's defense, this works similar to sanctuary aura and it completely removes defense from any monsters that you fight except for bosses. It has magic damage as well which is really good against physical immune monsters, 200 lightning damage which is really good 7% mana stolen per hit which is really important because when you're using skills like zeal or frenzy you're still using mana you really don't want to get hit by an elite pack that can mana burn you and this really gives you a high chance to die because you really need to make sure you're using your main skill so you can get your life leech or life tap and it has huge survivability here. Lightning absorb 25%. You really don't need to worry about lightning souls anymore. They're just one of the most highest damage dealing monsters in the game and everyone dies to them. Just put this item on and you're never gonna worry about them again. The next item on the list is Doombringer. Up to 250% enhanced damage. And then it has the chance to cast a level three weaken. Allows the monsters around you to do less damage. It really increases your survivability a lot. 32 to 100 damage 40 percent bonus to attack rating which is really good seven percent life stolen per hit so you're definitely getting some life leech right there to increase your survivor survivability and another amazing thing about this weapon is it has increased maximum life by 20 percent and if you're a frenzy barbarian you can dual wield these and then you'll get 40 percent maximum life and it's just really a very underrated weapon no one ever keeps it no one ever uses it the next item is is Zacharum's hand. I actually upgraded this. Has a 6% chance to cast a level 5 blizzard on striking. A lot of you guys probably don't know. Blizzard doesn't show the real damage that it's doing and blizzard does a ton of damage. So to have it on a melee weapon is just absolutely amazing. Up to 50% increased attack speed with a shale rune in there. 216 enhanced damage. It also has ignore targets defense which I was just talking about which is absolutely amazing for any melee character. 8% mana stolen per hit which I just said is really important and the other stats you don't really need to worry about but this is super cheap no one keeps this item at all if you guys are on a budget such as a frenzy barbarian a zealer this item is just absolutely amazing and the next item on the list is Alma now this is a really good paladin shield because it has 75% enhanced damage it's really going to be hard for you to get one that's really good because the stats definitely are all over the place on this item and a lot of people throw this item away as well. It's really good for a Zealer Paladin with that 75% enhanced damage. Overall, it's just an amazing item to have. The next item on the list is Sword Guard. This is a really good item for hardcore characters, especially Barbarians. You can actually upgrade this to a Colossus Blade, and you can see that it has negative 50% requirements. So usually Colossus Blades have a huge strength requirement, and this makes it so you can just wear the item really easily. I would suggest you put a shield rune in there for 20% increased attack speed, but let's check out all the high survivability bonuses that it has. 20% faster hit recovery, 20% increased chance of blocking on a weapon which is just unheard of, 180% enhanced damage, 475 defense based on character level, 200 defense versus melee, 100 defense versus missile, and 20 to all resistances. Also 30% damage taken goes to mana and that negative 50% requirements is absolutely huge when upgrading this item and it's definitely one of the best high survivability weapons in the game for a barbarian. And then going on with the last item right here is the Blessed Circle. This is really nice for hardcore characters or if you're just starting off your character on a new season or a ladder reset. 30% block rate, 25% increased chance of blocking, and it comes with two sockets on it, two perfect diamonds in there, and you can get a massive 63 to all resistances. If you're just starting off, like I said, it's an amazing shield to have and it really increases your survivability. So there's the 10 most underrated unique items in Diablo. Diablo 2. Let me know in the comment section below what items you guys think are really underrated in Diablo 2 and what you guys think about my list. I love all of you so much. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep up with Diablo 2 content and you can hit the bell notification if you want to get notified when my videos get uploaded. I love all of you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.